on the next Texas Justice. She kicked my car. A race for a parking space turned into a brawl at the mall. We're walking to the mall, and she turns her car into us and hits me with her car. You seem like such a mild, meek person. <laughs> on the next Texas Justice. Michael Fletcher claims his daughter refuses to pay back a bank loan he co-signed to help with her bills. Today, he's here with his wife, Mary, to collect $3,493 in personal loans and cell phone bills. Jennifer Murphy argues her parents took out the loan on their own behalf and only gave her part of the money. She claims she never asked for the money and never agreed to pay it back. Well, the Fletcher family feuds finally fueled another fire here, I see. You're suing your daughter for $2,700 worth of bank loan and $738 worth of cell phone bills. Yes, sir. Tell me why she owes her daddy money. She had just left a, a relationship that was very abusive after four years, moved in our house. There was a bunch of feuding going on between the two, my two daughters. Went ahead and talked to my daughter, Jennifer, over here about uh, taking out a loan at the bank to go ahead and help her pay deposits on a propane tank, water, lights, and everything. Okay. And uh, the $2,500, 500 of it was going to go ahead and pay my taxes, and then the other 2000 was going to hers, and I was going to pay the 500 back. Mom broke her foot in December, made me unable to go ahead and pay the 500 back. I talked to Jennifer, said I've got the car, uh, an 87 Ford Tempo that I would be willing to go ahead and sign over to her if she would pay the 500 portion that I was supposed to. Uh, went ahead and took the car back because nothing had been paid at the bank. Nothing. Your Honor, the car had What's nothing. What's going on here? The car had nothing to do with the loan whatsoever. Well, I understand, and the car went into the equation as a way to work something out for what he had gotten no. out of it, and then the no. car came out of the equation. Yes, it did. She moved from Hold on, hold on a second. What's uh, you're Mary? I'm Mary. Your stepmom. Well, if that's what she's referring to me, I've never been referred to as that. But anyway. Are you her mother? Yes, sir. I am. Oh, okay. You're not, you're not stepmother. I don't feel I am. No, you're, sir. You're natural mother. No, I'm no, not natural. You're stepmother. Yeah. I got custody of her. <laughs> <laughs> it All don't right. take a real mom I, to give birth to be a real mom or a special mom. Well, you want to tell me your side about how this loan came about and what the status of it is? And maybe, maybe you want to tell me why you don't owe it. When my dad approached me and said, we're going to the bank to get a loan. Come on, let's go. I need $500 I to pay I did my not. taxes. I did, did not. I gathered up my papers. Mm -mm. And you were living at home at that time? I was living, I stayed with my dad. With, with your my boyfriend? Three, no, I stayed with my parents for three weeks. And me and my children. How many stayed, children you got? I have three. And I'm in the process of, of getting child support from my son's father, who I was with for four years. <clears throat> well, April, what do you know about the loan? Well, she skipped out on the loan. She just refused. She didn't, she talked to her boyfriend the day that she was moving and told him that she was not. Her boyfriend was giving her about $800 a week or um, every other week. And no. she, Boy, she has like several I don't think he matters checks. in this deal. You know, the, a, a bank debt was taken out in this family to try to help solve some of the, the problems that are going on here. It looks like it's obvious that there's more outgo than there is income. But Heather, what, are you, what have you got to, to do with this fight? You've been brought down here to this court to tell me something. What is it? Um, I've been her friend since junior high. And um, I was there when her mom and dad talked. I was there when she used the phone to talk to the bank, the lady at the bank. I was there when... Um, talk is cheap. Interest grows. Money the is lady at money's going to solve the problem. Called. Why wasn't it paid back? Do you know? None of it. Because she didn't have the money because her ex-boyfriend wasn't giving her any. Well, how did he get his them. hands on one of the cell phones? She That's what her. you're suing for, too. When, when she was still living at the house, she went ahead and the, she had had a cell phone with her last boyfriend before she moved into our house. And she needed to get in, she honor. needed to go ahead and be in communication oh. with the new boyfriend. So I went ahead and signed 
for uh, two cell phones. So part of this $738.95 you're suing for for the cell phone bill yes, sir. involves a cell phone that went to Jennifer and a cell phone that went to her boyfriend. Yes. All right? she, and who, now, who's the genius that arranged that? She wanted the cell phone. You. Yeah, okay. Does the concept of a gift mean very much to you? Yeah, uh, yes it does. So, I mean, you're, you're suing her like it's a debt. Did, did you think you were going to have to pay that cell phone back? Yeah, I was paying the cell phone bill every month, Your Honor. All and other I half even, of it. You just said that I you didn't have I paid the whole bill every month for both mine and his phone. His portion was always three-fourths of the bill because he was... Now, I've seen the cell phone bill. The total bill is for y'all 50-50. The last bill was, but the... the but well, the last bill's the one we're dealing with, but, 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 but here, okay? <laughs> When Texas justice continues, Judge Larry Joe prepares to rule on family matters. I've listened to you. Tell me what's going on here. And I know that you got financial obligation, moral obligation. Maybe morals would say there's none. Because what's a daughter worth? What's the love of a sister worth? Are you involved in a legal dispute with your best friend and want your case heard on Texas Justice? If so, call 1-800-854-7303. Tony, most people want to get in better shape, but they just don't have the time. Well, Stacy, what if I told you in just three 20-minute workouts, only one hour a week, you can increase your energy levels, strengthen your heart, reduce your stress, and shape all the muscles of your body, all with one quality machine. Would you be interested? Yes, I would. Well, Stacy, I have good news. Tell me more. I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance by switching to GEICO. Yeah, baby, you can do it. GEICO, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Texas justice continues in the case of Michael and Mary Fletcher, who are suing their daughter for $3,493 in personal loans and cell phone bills. Let me tell you how this, this debt parades up here. Because I put my pencil to it, and I know that you got about $850 out of that debt of $2,700, and that includes the interest. And I've, I've taken that $2,700, and I've taken $850 out of it. And that cell phone, Jennifer's not trying to dodge that debt. I've got real mixed emotions about it. I think she's saying she owes it all because she feels like that she's obligated to pay for the guy that took a hike. But you helped participate in part of that problem, and if, he's, if she's got the cell phone and it's been canceled and it's all back now, he incurred half the debt. That's something, that's something you shouldn't have done, but you did it. So what are we going to do with it? Strap your daughter for all of it or half of it? I say fairness is half of it. If you've got a problem with her ex-boyfriend over that cell phone, you need to go deal with him over that. And when that smoke clears, you've got $2,219.47 of financial obligation. Moral obligation? Maybe morals would say there's none. Because what's a daughter worth? What's the love of a sister worth? Ruling the court is for the plaintiff, though, including court costs of $2,774.47. That's my ruling. All right. Michael and Mary Fletcher have won their case, so their daughter, Jennifer Murphy, must pay the plaintiffs $2,774.47 for personal loans. As far as I'm concerned, the only thing that's left between us is the kids. That's it. Jennifer, we've always the been kids, there to help that you. That is it. You can call the house for the kids. We, maybe call the in house time. For the kids. You know, the Bible says, Thou shalt dust thyself of thy enemy. Jennifer, maybe, maybe you in should time. pick one up. You have anything else, sir? I do want to give you a hug, if that's all right. Not right now. Jennifer. 